swear gut. What's the idea of taking silk pajamas and perfume on target practice? Oh, you know how I am about my personal appearances, Jenny. From the looks of the stuff you're taking, anybody'd think you were going on the make for the captain. Now, there's no need to be jealous. I'll only be gone two weeks, and I'm at sea all the time. You're always at sea, Gus. Maybe so, but when I'm on target practice, I often wonder what you're doing. Well, you better get going, Gus. You're late. Well, I'm off. I know that, but hurry. My little sweetie. My little honey. Be true to me, baby. I will, Gus. I'll be thinking of you while I'm on target practice. And I'll be thinking of you, too. That a girl. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Hmm, target practice. Titwillow and Blodgett, Mutual 9211. I got it fixed. Hope it will it run. We'll soon find out. Look, blood. Look. Is that a job or not? Yes, but it's going to keep time. Well, I hardly think so, but look at the action it's giving. <laughs> hey, pull up your pants. Uh -oh. As senior member of the firm, I'll answer that. Good morning, J. Andrew Tipolo speaking. I think my husband is running around with another woman. Very unethical diversion, but quite popular. Tell me, do you suspect any particular woman, or is your husband just sort of freelancing? Well, he said he's going out of town for two weeks, but I think he's carrying on a flirtation with a little blonde. Who is this little blonde? She's the secretary in the office of the Fun Novelty Company. We'll look her over and let you know if she's the kind of a blonde your husband should run around with. Okay, Jen, we'll be over later and report. Hooray, Blodgett, at last we got a job. Good, now we can keep the hungry wolf from the door. Right. We're not afraid of the hungry wolf, the hungry wolf, the hungry wolf. We're not afraid of the hungry wolf. We're hungrier than he is. Hot dog. <laughs> Has Gus gone yet? Why, Alan Fun, of all people. He left a little while ago. For two weeks this time. Target practice. Target practice? <laughs> <laughs> what an alibi. <laughs> She's kind of like old times, eh, Genevieve? <laughs> you betcha, Al. Say, how about a cup of coffee? Why not? What can I lose? <laughs> <laughs> well, come on into the dining room. There ain't no parade. I'm here on business. So am I. Say, do you shadow people? Judge for yourself. I'm going out of town for a couple of weeks, and uh, I'm afraid my wife's running around with another man. His name is Alan Fun. Of the Fun Novelty Company, and he's got a blonde stenographer. How do you know? We're special investigators. We know everything. I want you to watch every move he makes, day and night. Say, Jenny, how would you like to go motoring? Well, we've got a nice day for it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll drive down to the office and I'll pick you up on the way back, huh? You'll probably run into Gus down there, trying to date up your little blonde secretary. <laughs> Say, would your husband do that? Would he? And how? <laughs> Say, I've been trying to date her up. I mean, uh, I'll put a stop to that. Gus can't flirt with my secretary and get away with it. You know, right's right the world over. I'll see you later, Jenny. More target practice. Now to do some snooping. <laughs> and will I snoop? <laughs> Hey, what are you doing, giving yourself a big hand? Hey, what? a fella just came in here and hired me to shatter the president of the Fun Novelty Company. Fun Novelty Company? Yeah. That's where the blonde works and I'm supposed to shatter. Boy, are we in luck. Oh. Let's get going. Well, I won't need that. Won't need these. Won't need that. Certainly won't need that. And I won't need that. Hey, look at grandfather. He's suffering. What do you expect? 
respect for my grandfather. Sex appeal? I'll give Grandpa a little more spring tonic. What happened? Well, I guess Grandpa just couldn't stand prosperity. Now remember, Blodgett, keep your eyes, ears, and mouth open. We'll soon find out all we want to know. Right oh. No fault at all from you. Are you the secretary here? Yes. Well, we're here to watch you. Well, if you're going to watch me, you'll have to step. I'm leaving on my vacation. How long are you going to be gone? Two weeks. Well, you can't do that. It's not fair to our client. It's not equitable. Oh, no? You'll see. Well, where are you going? I'm going fishing. Did you hear that? Yes, she's going away for two weeks. My client's husband's going away for two weeks. Two weeks and two weeks. What do you make of that? One month. Right. And fishing. Miss Blair, Miss Blair, say, have you seen my secretary? Oh, you mean that blonde? Yes. She just left on her vacation. Oh, yes, I forgot. Say, was there a man with her? No. Good. Now then, did you gentlemen wish to see me? Are you Alan Funt? Himself in person. That's all I want to know. I am G. Andrew Titwillow, and I'm well, here to... I'm certainly glad to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you should go see a veterinary about that thing. Hey, Blodgett, he's the cat. <laughs> Just one of my little tricks. Don't get sore, boys. It's all in fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Step inside, and I'll show you the greatest line of novelties in the world. <laughs> he hates himself, don't he? Watch out for him. He's tricky. Now, look here. We were sent here to... Ah, Love Secrets of the Harem. <laughs> Did you ever read that one? Can't say it I have. Sounds snappy, though. <laughs> Take a look at the picture. <laughs> Yeah, it's snappy, all right. <laughs> Don't get sore. It's all in fun. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> now to business. Sit down, gentlemen. <laughs> Love secrets of the harem, and you fell for it like a big chump. All right, don't rub it in. Sit down. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> Don't get sore, boys. It's all in fun. <laughs> Oh, I'm not sore. I enjoy a good joke. So do I, but I'm going to play safe. I'm going to sit up here. You won't fool Blodgett. <laughs> so I notice. Ah! Ah! Oh, ouch, ouch, oh. <laughs> <laughs> More love secrets. What a shocking affair. <laughs> Is that a good one or not? I sold over 2,000 of those last year. <laughs> well, <laughs> pardon me a moment. <laughs> oh, say, do you mind answering that for me? Not at all. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, boy, is that a good one? <laughs> you got them all here, haven't you? <laughs> Don't get sore. It's all in fun. <laughs> oh, I'm not sore. I'm not sore. But just to show you there's no hard feeling, here, have a cigar. I don't mind if I do. Thanks ever so much. <laughs> not a bad cigar. <laughs> now, gentlemen, let's really talk business. <laughs> Don't get sore, it's all in fun. Yeah, you said it. <laughs> but don't go, boys. You haven't seen anything I've yet. I've seen enough. I'm going home and take a bath. <laughs> well, it's a good idea, but if you don't mind, would you use this door? Not at all. Be glad to. Well, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye, Uncle Tom. We'll be seeing you. No one can slip anything over on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get even with that guy if it's the last thing I ever do. That don't mean a yeah, thing. Yeah, that don't mean a thing. Oh, that one there? No, that uh, doesn't mean a thing. Hey, comes. Target practice maneuvers canceled to further notice. Company B given 48 hours leave. Dismissed. Oh, 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 oh man. That's swell. Now I can go to the park and go rowing. And you can go out with your sweetie. No, she's gone on her vacation. All I can do is go home to the wife. Gee, that's tough. Now, how about another drink, Blodge? No more ginger ale. No more ginger ale? Nope. Hey, Jenny. What is it, Andrew? How about some more ginger ale? Oh, I'm awfully sorry, but I'm just out. What, no ginger ale? Watch those things, Jen. Certainly. What is this, anyway? Oh, is this yours? Mm -hmm. Here you are, Blodge. You run down the corner and get some more ginger ale. Okay. How about some sandwiches? Never mind. We'll see what's in the icebox later. <laughs> right -o. Make yourself at home, Jenny. Thank you. I'll try and do the same. Are you comfy, Andy? Oh, Jen, this is Arkady. <laughs> Hello, 
general. Oh, it's you, eh? Yeah. Hey, did you find out anything? Plenty. That's great. But I'm working on another case now. A swell-looking dish lives right upstairs. I'm going for some ginger ale. Say, maybe she's got a friend. I'd like to join the party. Okay, fine. She's right up in apartment number... No, can't tell you. Wouldn't be ethical. I'll see you a little later, General. Get me 506. Isn't this a night for love? Isn't this just right for love? Just right for love, just right for love. Isn't that a friendly moon on high in the... I'll answer it, Andrew. If that's for me, tell him I'm taking my singing lesson. Ah, oh, what price romance. Hello? Mrs. Smith, your husband's on the way up. My husband? God heavens! Andrew! Andrew! Yes, oh, Andrew! Nice this is terrible! What's the matter, dear? My husband is a upstairs, husband. and he's on his way up, and if he finds you here, he'll kill you! I didn't expect him to kiss me. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, he's a sharpshooter in the Marines and always carries his gun. That's good news. Oh, where are you going? I'm going to jump out the window. But you can't, it's too high. I've jumped out of higher windows than that, but never without rubber heels on. Oh, great, I've got an idea. Here, take that trunk out of there. Hurry! Oh! Hurry what are you up. going to do? You get in the trunk, and I'll call an express man and have him take it away. All right, but I don't like this trunk stuff. I can't get a running start. My little sweetie. My little honey. My little trunky. Target practice was called off, honey. Did I surprise you? I'll say you surprised me. <laughs> Count me in on that surprise, too. Well, Jen, it's sure good to get back home. And say, was you a good girl while I was away? Oh, Gus, how can you ask such a question? You know me. Well, maybe that's why he's asking her. Why, sweetheart, you're all upset. You're shaking like a leaf. I could give a leaf lessons about shaking right now. Oh, nothing's the matter. Everything's all right. I, I just didn't expect you home so soon, that's all. Fine. What's the trunk doing in the middle of the floor? And then the fun began. It's just some old clothes I'm sending to the old soldier's home. Oh, say, you know, I lost a good suit like that once. I'm going to take a look and see what No, you no. I mean, uh, that is, I'm sending some of my old clothes to my sister. Oh, yeah? The cross marks the spot where the body was found. Well, dear, you get your suitcase and I'll help Jen, you unpack and then... I believe you got a man hid in that trunk. Why, Gus, what do you mean? I'll show you what I mean. <coughs> now, just for luck, I'm going to shoot that trunk full of holes. Closed for the summer. I thought so. <coughs> and that won't help him. I won't miss him this time. <laughs> that one got him. Oh, Nick Gus, don't do anything. You'd be sorry for Get out of my way. Now we'll see who's in this trunk. Extra, extra, get your latest editions here. A riddle body man found in trunk. Police suspect foul play. Extra, extra. What about newspaper, mister? Who extra, are you? Huh? Who are you? I'm the newsboy. What are you doing in that trunk? Selling my papers. Tell that to the Marines. I am. Say, you're not fooling me. No? The minute I come in that door, I smell the rat. Oh, let's not get personal now. Oh, you shut up. Oh, Gus, I can explain everything. If you can, you're a pip. Oh, hello, lady. I didn't see you before. You want to buy a newspaper? No. I told you to shut up. Now, Jenny, leave the room. I don't want you to see what's going to happen. How have you been? You hear me? Get out of the line of fire. Well, let her stay there. I'll get out. Get back in that box. Jenny, for the last time, get out of this room. Outside, Jen. Oh, Gus, you're breaking my heart. Well, Gus hasn't done my heart any good either. My fart. <laughs> Fair play there, Jack. All right, don't be scared. I ain't going to kill you. No? That's a load off of my mind. Yeah. The load's back on again. Say, I'm going to make you a proposition. And I'm going to accept your proposition, Gus, as long as it don't interfere with my selling newspapers. Now, listen. Strange as it may seem... Yes, Gus. Even after what has just happened... Yes, Gus. Yoo-hoo, Gus, where are you? Oh, there you are. I 
I still love my wife? No. Yes. He's the most peculiar soldier I ever saw. Yes, I still love Jenny. Oh, Jen's a good old skate. Say, what? There wasn't really anything between you and my wife, was there? No. Good. He's the dumbest soldier I ever met. Here's my proposition. Quote it, Gus. My wife thinks I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Instead of that, I'll fire two shots at the floor. Gus, please, whatever you do, don't shoot down at the floor. Why not? You want to hit Mabel, that swell-looking blonde that lives underneath here? She's not in. I looked on the way up. He's not as dumb as I thought he was. My wife will think I killed you and then killed myself. How jolly. <laughs> She'll rush in and come to the man she loves best. The man she loves best, Gus. If it's me, yes, Gus. I want you to go and never see my wife again. Fair enough, Gus. But if it's you... Yes, Gus. And I'll go and I'll never see either of you again. Is it a bargain? Let me think that over. Yes, Gus, it's a bargain. Good. Even if she comes to me first, I never want to see her again. Good. Are you ready? Let her flicker. Was that shot for me? That was for you. Just want to make sure is all. I'm going to show you a death now, Gus. What's this? Dolly, up! Wow. Wow. Now, there's a death to be proud of, Gus. Boy, you said it. Now, let's see you top that one. It's your turn now. I know it. That shot was for you. I know it, I know it. Well, get dying. Put some unction oh, in your death. Right, right there. Oh! Oh, Gus! Gus, what did you do? There you are. What did I tell you, Gus? <laughs> well, those shots I heard us. Only a trick to prove your love, Jenny. Am I some picture, Gus? Oh, huh? Gus. I'm so glad nobody was killed. Yeah, so am I, Jenny. Just a minute. What's this guy doing here anyway? Oh, why? Well, he came up here. Well, to the us. fact of the matter is, Gus, that your wife hired me to. Uh, I got it. <laughs> Hello, Gerald. I see you found the place after all. The place? Yeah. You mean this place? Hey, how do you happen to know hey. that? Why, uh, it was like this. You see, to tell the truth. Uh, just I... a minute, Jenny. The general here hired me to watch. Uh, 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 <laughs> Listen, honey, it was all a little misunderstanding. Now, come on, you get me a cup of coffee, and I'll explain everything. Come on. Hey, Blodge, how do you happen to know this Gus? That's the guy that hired me to watch fun. And he's Jenny's husband. What? What a mix-up. Let's get out of here. No, I got a plan. This is a great chance to get even with that Alan Fun. The fellow that tried to down this. None other. Have I got something? <coughs> hey, Jen, come here. Where does Alan Fun live? I want to warn him at your husband's back. Oh, I forgot all about him. He lives across the hall. Leave that to us. Come on, Roger. Hello, boys. How are you? Just fine. And you? Are you still covering the waterfront? <laughs> <laughs> Say, Jenny's waiting for you. I know. I'm a little late. You're right on time. Come on. Yeah. Come in here. Yeah. Let's give Jenny a surprise. Yeah. Swell idea. Come over here. Yeah. You hide in the trunk. I'll call Jenny in. That's great. I like jokes. You're going to love this one. Get in there. Now, wait a minute. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, Jen! Oh, Gus! Come out here. What is it, fellas? Gus, I gave you my word that I'd go away, and I am a man of my word. Oh, don't leave me now. Gotta go. Duty calls. But I want to make one suggestion before I leave. What is it? Why don't you get rid of that trunk? It's bad luck to you. That's not a bad idea, Jen. What do I do with it? Well, I would suggest offhand that you throw it out the window. I'll do it. Now, wait a minute. Before you ever do anything rash, always count up to ten. That's my advice, anyway. I'll take it. One. Goodbye, Jen. Goodbye, Joe. Come on, Roger. <laughs> Four. <laughs>